So I was looking online and I see a story from October of 2009 where Rush Limbaugh says, I'm colorblind. I treat everybody the same. That's right, Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> well, that was five years ago. Now we fast forward here to 2014. It's May. Spring is in the air. It's a delightful time to be in America, unless you're in Houston. <laughs> and, uh, and Rush has thought it important to point out again that he, Rush Limbaugh, is the one true American who actually just doesn't see race. Here's Rush on his stupid radio show. Let's, let's not forget, they do see the world this way. Uh, for all this talk about colorblind society, I, I think I am one of the few who actually live that. I mean, when Geraldo Rivera, who, and all the owners in the NBA are Jewish, who thinks like this? I, I don't. No. No, you don't. For all this talk about a colorblind society, I don't see it. I don't see race. Does he know he has a radio show? And that people record that radio show? I mean, JR and I were talking in the morning meeting and we were talking about this story and we both recognized that it was not going to take a tremendous amount of effort <laughs> to find Rush Limbaugh being perhaps less colorblind than he likes to refer to himself. Here's a little sampling. Hey, Barack Obama has picked up another endorsement, African-American uh, actress Halle Berry. Obama's entire economic program is reparations. As a African-American, I'm honored to have Ms. Berry's support, as well as the support of other African-Americans. He just wants us to say, have, the, have the same health care uh, and plan that he had in Kenya. Economic anxiety is necessary if you want to become the next black FDR. Folks, don't doubt me. You know that there were a lot of people that voted for Obama out of pure guilt. And we have to understand, that's why I'm stunned that President Obama, if, if he knew that it was just three black Muslim teenagers in that pirate ship that were gunned down, I... Totally, totally, totally colorblind. Does not see race. And we have to understand, that's why I'm stunned that President Obama, if, if he knew that it was just three black Muslim teenagers in that pirate ship that were gunned down, I... Here you have a black president trying to destroy a white policeman. You let George Bush's Navy gun down three black teenagers out there in the open seas, and I guarantee there would be hell to pay. Midnight basketball. I mean, we've done it all. We've, 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 we've taken the favorite sport of gangs... And we put it at midnight. The Boko Haram leader, or whoever Boko Haram had perform on video, is a good-looking guy. This is why Mrs. Clinton wouldn't call this group a terror group, because they're black. If only President Obama had known that the three Somali community organizers were actually young black Muslim teenagers, I'm sure he wouldn't have given the order to shoot. We can't call them terrorists because they look like African Americans, and we just can't go there. Nobody will ever convince me that that's why they didn't call this group a terror group. I, I tell you, it's like listening to Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> this guy, he just doesn't see race. Uh, JR, uh, how long uh, did it take you to, to find those clips? It must have taken the whole day. I mean, it's, just, it's probably all you did. did you, were you able to eat lunch today? <laughs> Well, I usually don't, but actually I was today, ironically. <laughs> uh, it, it was, it's weird. I actually cut out another two minutes of that, and that was almost two minutes. Yeah, we don't even have some of the old classics, like when he told the caller who sounded like he might be black to get the bone out of his nose, or when he said we're all rooting for Donovan McNabb because he's a black quarterback. <laughs> I bet that was news to a lot of Eagle fans who were just rooting for him because he played for the Eagles. <laughs> And also, it's the new age. We were rooting for Donovan McNabb if he was on our fantasy team. Okay, that's how it worked. Um, I also liked his sort of inference there that would have been very different if uh, 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 George W. Bush had shot, shot those black Muslims on the open sea. Because I know the country was constantly outraged whenever George W. Bush killed Muslims. <laughs> he only did it like 150,000 times. I don't know, man. I don't know. It it's just goes to show also the, uh, the obviously not colorblind nature that, uh, that 
Rush has, but then also how he perceives everyone else to see the world because of the way he sees it. So because he really, I think we we're talking about the Muslim, uh, the Somali pirates. I think he really thinks black Americans are going, no, don't kill them, they're black. Totally. Like, yeah, he, it, 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 as, because he's thinking, yes, oh man, I, I thought these Somali pirates are gonna look kinda Greek. Yeah, he, <laughs> he, has no, right, right. he has no sense of how anybody else does. There's so many things in there that are like, it's half funny, and then it's like midnight basketball. We've taken the favorite sport of gangbangers. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it's the basket. Everybody loves basketball. We're America. We love basketball. You know, it, it just again, taking, you're 100% right. And I, but I, I love, and also, he turned the, the shooting of the Somali pirates was like, he was trying to turn what was an unquestionably celebrated move by a tough guy president and somehow make, like, he shot them. He did what you want. What a dick.